So guys, we are seeing external diffusion of the reactant, internal diffusion of the reactant, absorption of the reactant, reaction of that reactant into B, and desorption of B, which is our product. Right now, we just need to take out, we are right now here, we want to, to take out to the surface of the pellet. And it's very similar to step two. Actually, the rate is this one here and this one here. If you want to have a rapid rate or a high rate, you need to have a K, KR relatively high. And how do you achieve that? You need to have a low particle diameter, okay? And once again, the length of the particle is a factor. I don't want to tell you more, you know already. It's directly dependent to the particle. This one was last diagram, but the correct one will be going out of the pellet. This is your pellet, you react it, and you want to take out your product, let's say B, into the surface. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.